tell you what though, no mm -hmm. matter how this game ends, everything that we've been through, the journey so far, mm -hmm. this is just gonna go down as one of my favorite games ever. For it's real. It's so good. I, I know. And I'm not even talking about the facial animations and the weird, uh, you know, incom some incomplete dialogue and some awkward things that clearly weren't finished or done right. Yeah, but just or... overall, the cast and the main character and just... I know, dude. Let uh... we talk a moment. Oh, hello. hello. Speaking of, dude, you I know. You have I know. The outstanding I freaking love this game. I love Jack, dude. Dude, I... right? <sighs> I so can't often even the main character is just kind of like blah or just not my favorite, but ah, uh, I love him. Yeah, I really appreciate how they gave Jack a personality, and mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. I know some people were mad about that, like, you can't really control him as much as you could, like, Shepard, like, there was always four options, there was always more options, or you could make him act a certain way, but I feel like, mm -hmm. I sometimes I want more options, but I feel like it's like that because Jack is a character, he's more right. his own character, it's true. and yeah. he, you might be able to make him say certain things, or make certain decisions, but he's always going to be Jack, and he's always going to say things in mm. the way that Jack would say them. Mm -hmm. There's no renegade Jack, you know? There's no <laughs> renegade Jack. <laughs> it's true, I know, and I appreciate that, I love his character. It's, it's just like they did in The Witcher, honestly, like, everything Geralt mm. can say still That's sounds like something example. Geralt would say. Because it's still gonna be Geralt, you know. I hope he's not upset. What do we do? No. Ah, there you are. Not upset. <laughs> I was wondering. It's so cute. When you found the Solarian, ah. was anything strange, out of place? Um. I was busy at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, everything. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of. Uh, it was pretty chaotic. There was a lot of things out of place, like most things. We're out of place. <laughs> you mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. Mm? That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Hmm. I don't think there's a way to know definitely it's a hoax maybe it's a hoax but until we know otherwise now that i think about it a cat armada just stumbling across the solarian arc seems a little convenient coincidences do happen though when you do put they? like that i'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer i suppose there's no harm in making sure his paws are so cute hmm we're just out of all. I know everything about him. I wish Cal had a custom head mesh. I wish that about all the characters, but I know. Yeah. But all of our 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 other alien crew members do have custom heads. Other than Lexi, I guess that's why. Mm. Even Suvi, I think, is is one of the presets. I'm telling you, it's just only the people on our first. team. It's not fair. No. Feeling all right. You were clinically dead for a few seconds. I didn't even know a Sam could oh. do that. Did I, I not talk to you after that? about that? <clears throat> Our Sam can? Can others not? Maybe they don't have that. Maybe not. I don't know. I didn't either. Imagine how I felt. <laughs> I'll bet. Death is the only exit, not the most reassuring words to hear. Anyway, thank you, Sam, for saving Ryder's life. Mm -hmm. I should get back to things. Sounds good. I still forget to talk to Suvi occasionally. You got so used to not talking to her, trying to oh. avoid that religion thing. <laughs> Invitation, <laughs> Pathfinders only. From Zevin Rika, writer, I realize you're taken up, you're you're taking taken up with businesses, business as we all are, but we shouldn't forget to celebrate our victories. The reunion of so many Pathfinders certainly counts. Next time you're on the Nexus, come by Pathfinder HQ. We deserve an evening to catch up all together. Oh my god! Oh my god that's awesome! Um, that's an awesome idea! <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it's mm. Pathfinders only, apparently. <laughs> Stupid. Ordered, thank you. From Kahlo. Oh. I got this from one of the returnees to the Nexus. I thought you might like to see it. Just a reminder, if you ever need someone to deliver you to the... Jugular? Jugular? Mm -hmm. Of those cat monsters, I'm here. <laughs> oh, okay. I get it. Okay. To Kahlo. From Tain. Sorbril Tain. I hope I've got the right person. Do you fly that ship, the Tempest? Someone told me one of our people was helping the human Pathfinder. Thank you for getting us away from that terrible ship. The sights, the smells, they're always with me. But you and Ryder made sure they'll just be memories. Do us proud. Aww. He just forwarded that person's <laughs> thank gratitude to us. Thank you, That's Kahlo. So You're pure. <laughs> oh, from Jaw. Oh, thank you for visiting my f family with me. For someone with such a small family... It must be, have been overwhelming, but you didn't show it at all. No! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, the thing about Jack is, yeah, he's his family's tiny. It's just him and his sister and his parents. But he's a people person. He loves mm -hmm. people. <laughs> you know? If he had it his way, he'd be hugging everyone on the Tempest and making everyone super uncomfortable all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the hugger. <laughs> Andy flirts with this. It's just, I never know what to think. Oh, hey, Ryder Family Secrets also is on there? Did we get a... Speak with Sam! Oh, oh my god! <gasps> oh my god. Oh, that's on Havarl. Okay, so let's do this, and then we'll go to Havarl, and then we'll go to Meridian. Okay. Hey, remember that time we were in here, and we, what were we talking about? What was it? Like, butts <laughs> or something? <laughs> or, what was Sounds it? like us. <laughs> we were in here, and literally the scenes that we ended up seeing were like that family dinner and when the mom died. <laughs> but before that, like we were talking about something so inappropriate. I can't remember Sounds what it like was. Us. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I feel like Jack would probably feel awkward if he like was in the shower, you know, or with a with you know his significant other, and Sam was just like talking to him. It may be directly related to some of that food you ate on Kadara. Huh? Not now, Sam. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm aware. Please heed my warning and go to the bathroom now before it is too late. <laughs> before it is too late. <laughs> <laughs> there could be a line. There was only one bathroom on the Tempest. <laughs> oh, no. Drag's in there! Oh no! You should have heeded my warning, Pathfinder. <laughs> Dude, it's every time we come into this stupid room. It's always it's something cursed. super serious, and we're always talking about dumb and appropriate crap. Every time! <laughs> Isn't it funny that thing that uh, that Jack's butt cheeks do, right? <laughs> something, <laughs> just something. <laughs> we don't even see his butt cheeks. What do you mean? Now, hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> Where his hippeter quadrant rotatifies when he moves. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like rotisserie, you know? <laughs> rotisserie, <laughs> rotisserie butt. A <laughs> <I> potato <laughs> rotisserie is gonna be the name of Shakira's next album. <laughs> My <laughs> potatoes don't lie. <laughs> I don't even know if you're talking about a hip, a hippopotamus, taters. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Somehow I made myself cry. <laughs> hip and taters rotate a fly. That's gonna be the 
stupid name of this episode. <laughs> and it's not going to make any sense. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm sorry we're such an embarrassment, Sam. I <laughs> <laughs> <You> spit every... <laughs> I was about to swallow and you me spew. <laughs> are, are, are we high? Are we yet. drunk? What's happening? <laughs> I doubt it's that fun. Yeah. Or this fun, I mean. <laughs> what, rotatifying your hip <laughs> 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 oh. That's going to be like a trigger My word for me hurt. now. <laughs> Like, you just say it, and I'm just gonna start laughing, and no one will understand what's you happening. You spew water. I thought it was over. I thought it was safe. You thought you were safe. You're never safe. Don't you know that? Why do you think I don't drink tea when we play games? I'm kidding. I still do, though. And then I choke on it. <laughs> And that's what it's going to say on your tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> choked Drank on tea and choked on it. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot of things on my tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> if it's just how I die, though, it's probably going to be that. Something pathetic and, like, mundane. Or cancer. <laughs> it's one of those. <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> Charming. <laughs> Well, I just figure. I just butt figure. To cancer. <laughs> I just. That's kind of the the mood setting for this room, from butt <laughs> to cancer. Uh, oh, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just figure if I'm gonna <sighs> die, if, like, like I'm gonna die young, it's gonna be some freak weird, like accident that. From something stupid, like tripping on a spoon or something, you know? Or. <laughs> that sounds like how I or, would die. <laughs> you're right, that does sound like how you would die. Um, or it's gonna be like I'm really old, like super, super old. And I mean, what gets you when you're really super old? Cancer. So Freaking, it's gonna oh, be one of yeah. those. You know? Falling, you know? Or, yeah, still. It'll still be tripping on a spoon, you're right. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Well, I think we're uh, we're ready, right? I think we're calmed down. Mhm. Mm mhm. Drink some water. Took some deep breaths. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Oh. Jack always looks <coughs> so cool with these. I know. He he always looks nice in this lighting here. Ah, the last memory fragment. What is going to happen? Gonna Let's see it. A moment. Was? There is an added layer of security. I was wondering. Wow, what was really? it GN Garson said? The code word is fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory mm. your father encrypted from the final planning fulcrum. stages of Hyperion's departure. <clears throat> Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now. CSEC. Garrus! Oh my and? god! He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Is uh, that but who I think it is? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat. They're called Reapers? <gasps> Shepard's oh. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that My God. Every 50, years, galaxy I wide. knew this is why they left. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. Oh my God. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And it's heaven. So, if the commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Was that Brandon Keener? Yes. I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, 
The scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. <coughs> the chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. So we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. Oh my but the God. arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. They plan to leave before Agreed. the North Reaper started. Is there something else? You knew this was coming. I knew something mm. was coming. In theory. Dry? Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. Wait, I'll tell what? the kids when the time is right. Wait, what? <gasps> what? <laughs> Mom? Transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <sighs> There's still hope for your mother. No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, but Alex dead, she'll be devastated. No! Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. Oh my god! He it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. I can't oh my god. even. I can't. I did what? That was did too much. No, he was going to do that. That was too much information. Okay, a few oh, things. Wow. Few things. First of all, I'm pretty sure that was Brandon Keener doing a slightly different voice than Garris. That sounded a lot like him. Oh, you mean like he did his dad's voice? Yeah, I'll have did to look it up. Did we meet his dad in, in the, in I the don't, original game? I don't think so. I was thinking he sounded familiar. <laughs> Other thing, dude, this now means we know about the Reapers. And I know. we're because we don't know how it ended, we're going to be operating under the assumption that all life in the Milky Way is gone. Like we're all I mean, that's left, be. we think. I mean, nobody knows what the canon ending was. I mean, what really that's happened. true. What happened? That's true. I mean, we know in our universe what happened, but you're right. Yeah, that's true. Also, the mom freaking alive? That, I did not see. Like, Whoa, I didn't I even did have an that inkling that, like, wow. This is horrible, though. Like, if we save her, you're right. She's going to be devastated that the dad's, and, man, he never gave up. He never gave up. Why wouldn't he have wanted to tell us, though? I don't understand. Maybe he felt like... He couldn't let her go, but maybe it was just a false sense of hope that maybe it was really maybe. hopeless. Maybe. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder. To see the process through. Wow. Where's mom now? Here on the Hyperion. I can't believe it. Ellen is it. in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth. Riley. So this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to <sighs> ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. <sighs> he sacrificed he was also everything. That what he knew about the Reapers and the benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. God. Now we know what Gian Garson meant. That something big spooked the benefactor. It was these Reapers. We were right, dude. You a Spectre right. operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an <laughs> Shepherd. investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Oh, Allegedly, Milky Way? this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. He was right. Yeah, how would we even know? That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional logs in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. 
Your father yeah. believed it prudent that you have this information should anything happen to him. What are we even gonna How do would with we this know? information? How would any of us over here have any way of knowing what happened over there? It's too far away. I mean, they were able to, you know, scan this sector, this, you know, oh. galaxy. But the thing is, is if we were to scan, it would be like really old info, but we could at least see if life was still over there. <clears throat> I'm assuming maybe one day we could. I'm actually not even sure, come to think of it, because didn't they use a Mass Effect relay to get the scans? And we don't have any kind of technology like that over here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the benefactor? Unknown. Hmm. They have to be here. Yeah, they, they have, have to be. That they wanted to leave they to wanted, save their own yeah. skin. Yeah. Got it. I need to go find Mom. I cannot. We can't wake her up, though, because she, she's dying. You with your sister at your mother's stasis pod. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Should we read your dad's vlogs first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's read the dad's vlogs first. Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186, everything went to hell. Mm. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. Mm. <coughs> yeah, the benefactor. Oh, Alec, we are this a is Jen Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor. And the fact that we still don't know who they are. All these lives in mm. our hands. I should have mm. done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Oh, they never Damn got to it. talk. Oh my god. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. Mm. I was wondering that. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. Mm. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, oh, wow. but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your ARPs made it out of the Milky Way, but... They did. The worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave oh, wow. crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember... The people of the Milky Way, as you knew them, could be gone forever. They you won't be. Maybe all no. that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your <laughs> children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I hate it. I know. <laughs> The feels. Uh, wasn't expecting all these, you know, feels from the first game to come creeping up on me. I know. I didn't even know they could send messages like that. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber One. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. 
Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Oh, oh. And the third game. Oh, wow. That opening scene is so awesome. Mm. Mm. That music. And so uh, heavy. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. I know, me too. I wonder, I, wonder, <laughs> I wonder if the way that Liara sent in that transmission is because they weren't that far away yet. They were only a few years into the journey. Yeah, and maybe, maybe so. she sent other transmissions, but they they were already too far away at that point. It's possible. It's possible. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primark Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down. Uh, uh, we know that sound. That's I a hate bad that sound. sound. Uh. That's a bad sound. Uh, no. No. All of this points to like the Milky Way is dead. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. Well, some of you wow. did. Well, I mean, everyone did. Yeah, there was no going back, but... Just knowing that your families, they didn't just live out their lives, that they were all murdered. I know, because really, what. we left the Milky Way thinking it was a time of prosperity and really relative peace. Like, there was no real war mm. going on. I mean, the galaxy wasn't perfect, but, but yeah, like you said, I mean, there was no real reason to worry about everyone back home. But now, it's just like... Man. And yeah, the Reapers make these cats look like little bitches. <laughs> yeah. For real. For real. <laughs> and nothing to say, Jack? I find that a little bit weird. Maybe he's trying to process it. Maybe so. Can't tell everyone right now. There's no reason to. Like like There's the dad really said, not. maybe, la maybe the, later and, down but the line. Wait, how maybe, do they but... know... How on earth do they know that they only come to the Milky Way? What if they come here too? What if they destroy all life every fifty thousand years? Well, we have no the idea. The thing is, is, we don't. We don't really. You're right. We don't know, but we don't know how widespread they really are. If they're only in the Milky Way, if they are in other galaxies, I mean, Andromeda That's what I'm is. I'm saying we don't know. Andromeda is a really long way away. We also know that, you know, regardless of whatever ending you chose, I'm assuming that wave spread out, I mean, just kept going, you know? I don't know why it wouldn't. Did Alec have someone that's been working on a cure? Like a doctor or something? I don't know. I mean, they said that it halted the progress of her disease, but when we last saw her, she was on her deathbed. Like, she was saying goodbye to her family. Like, it was over. I don't know how at that stage, even if we knew how to cure whatever was wrong with her, wouldn't it still not be too late? I... I don't know. Oh, we didn't talk to this guy. I'm glad to see you and your sister back together finally. I want to say both these things. Mm-hmm. I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah. I appreciate you looking out for Sarah. Your family's been through enough. It was time you had some good news. Though we mm. need to keep her around for observation. Give her time to recover. Of course. That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. Oh, wow. We've never been able to come this, this far down this hallway before. There you are. Now I know What's why. going on? Hey, sis. Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? You'll never believe this. I could have milked this a little, but... This is Mom. What? I saw Dad's last memory. He brought her. ER isn't Elizabeth Riley. It's Ellen Ryder. Oh my god. 
How is this possible? Mm. Jace's frozen disease. Dad never gave up. Oh, I like the way Sarah looks there. Mm-hmm. Nice lighting. I know, right? She's so pretty. Jack, what's wrong mm -hmm. with your face? This <laughs> 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 what's the creepy smile, dude. <laughs> Dad loved her that much? Oh. He wouldn't give um. up. Not even at the bitter end. For a man not given to rash action, his emotion drove his decisions in the end. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. Dad was being Dad. I'm just glad she's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, yeah. reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. That's right. Mm. Can't risk it. Cure her. Oh, Jack's face. Yeah, I I mean, that's obviously the dad wanted us to carry on his work in more ways than one. I mean, this mm -hmm. is part of it. He was hoping yeah. that one day we would be able to finish what he couldn't. Yeah. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. One day. Won't she be surprised? Mm. You have no way of knowing when, that's a dumb question. He's obviously gotta keep her safe. Yeah, I think we're gonna see this one. Sam, we couldn't have come this far without you. That's right. Thanks. Yeah. No gratitude is required. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hugs. No. Oh, okay. Wow. Just the cold shoulder. Jeez. <laughs> come on. Hang in there, Mom. We missed you. I really can't believe it. We'll get you out of there someday. Don't go anywhere. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't help it. <laughs> oh my god, Jack. Oh my god, I love him so much. You know she he was always making his mommy laugh. You know it. Mm-hmm. Anything new to say? And she immediately went back to sarcophagus mode. <laughs> back again? Sorry, awkward uh, angle. Well, I won't I talk to you from this angle ever again, Watch sis. Out there. I can't keep uh, saying like this. <laughs> Into the cross. <laughs> mm -hmm. 